Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe, and this recipe is down in the south, way back in Buffalo, Texas, Oakwood, Texas, Fairfield, Texas. This recipe is a jelly cake. Yes, indeed. My grandmother used to make the best jelly cakes, and we are trying to do it for the feast day that's coming up. So, in this jelly cake, you can put any flavored jelly you want. Me and my sister have a debate about the jelly cake, saying that you use apple jelly. But I remember in Texas, they had so many plums, so many plums, and I feel like they made it plum jelly instead of apple. But whatever it is, whatever your preference, you use it. You can use grape, pineapple, apple, um, strawberry, whatever, but I'm going to use the plum. I'm going to use Blackburn's uh, red plum jelly. This is what I'm going to use. Blackburn red plum jelly. Now, I love Blackburn products that taste just like plum, strawberry, grape, whatever you get. It tastes real good. And it's made out here in Mississippi, I believe. Uh, no, it's in Texas. Excuse me, y'all. It's in Texas. Cause it says Texas on it. Okay, so what we're gonna do? It says uh, Gold Texas. So I guess it is in Texas. So anyway, we're gonna make our jelly cake four layer high. Most colors are pink, white, uh, red, um, whatever colors you want. Green. It depends on what festivities that you want to celebrate. But I always get, y'all, you know, I always get my best choice, Usher Moss White Cake Mix or whatever. Now, I had to substitute for Duncan Hine because of strawberries, because I want to make a pink, and I didn't have any food color. So I had to substitute Duncan Hines. But we're going to make it perfect, because we're going to use buttermilk, we're going to use vanilla uh, pudding, instant pudding, and we're going to use canola oil. Instead of using, I'm going to use eggs. Instead of using water, we're going to use buttermilk. Now, you can substitute with um, uh, the oil and use uh, butter, but I don't know how to tell you how much to do. But I know with the oil and the buttermilk, it makes a perfect cake, and it don't taste like box cake. Don't have that box taste. Okay? So, we'll be right back and get started. All right. I'm going to add some vanilla, maybe about a teaspoon of vanilla to give it another little taste. Okay, and then we're going to finish blending. Now add a little bit more buttermilk because it's a little bit too thick. Maybe about one eighth or one fourth, maybe one fourth of buttermilk in there because it's a little bit too thick. And it is tasting good, it's delicious, so I'm trying to Get it all blended together. Make sure it's blended together because you don't want it to be kind of not blended because it'll be kind of thick. You want to make sure it is blended real fluffy and very nice. Okay, as this is blending, we're going to scrape the sides and make sure that it's all incorporated. Give it a little taste. Creamy. Tastes exactly what I want it to taste like. Okay, we're going to uh, put it in these pans that's already uh, floured and greased. I like greasing with shortening and then put the flour. This is just a regular 8-inch pan and this is perfect for what you need it for. We'll be right back and show you what we do next. All right, this, this cake rises very well. So I'm going to fill the pans. I'm gonna do two. One, this is how I do my measurements. So I make sure that I have enough in each pan for each cake. Just like this. And make sure that every cake have enough spoon full of batter. This is how I do mine, just like that. We'll be right back. I know y'all won't see me just sitting up here doing this. And I'll be right back. All right, I have the pans and getting ready to put them in the oven and let them cook 
Uh, let them bake for about 25 minutes at 2, 325. I'll be right back. All right, we have the pink glare with the duck and hind strawberry already blended up. And we're going to put it in the empty pans and put it in the oven for 25 minutes or 20 minutes or 23 minutes on 325. We'll be right back. Preparing your cake pan, uh, preparing the cake uh, server, which you're going to serve your cake in, you put some jelly in the middle so the cake won't move. About a tablespoon of jelly so to keep the cake from moving. I'm going to use this cake uh, server and it is beautiful and I'm going to put the cake on that when it cool. the end results of my jelly cake blackburn red plum jelly i use and it is delicious you let this cake set at least three days before you're going to serve it so the jelly can penetrate the uh the layers i use a yellow layer a pink layer a yellow layer and a pink layer so it's three colors it's two colors so it's a four now i made them thin because i don't want it to be too big a cake because it won't fit underneath the dome of this uh, plate server. This is Saturday. I'm going to tell you happy eating and get this recipe off of soulfoodqueen.net. Easy. You don't even have to go there, but you want to go over there to support my channel. So go over there and look at those recipes. This is the end results of my jelly cake and it is fabulous. Look at how it's glistening at the top and how I got it. Oh, it is so delicious. This is Saturday. I'm going to tell you happy eating again and thank you for coming to my channel and getting these recipes. It's simple and easy country recipes from an old country girl.